What's up guys, Jasper Chase here with a really awesome freaking moto vlog for you guys. I'm gonna review the 2015 R1. Oh my God, look at that screen. What? Look at that, 61 miles on it. All right. So the first thing I noticed right off the bat is the absolutely ridiculous maxi pad of a seat. Whew, super uncomfortable. I feel like I'm riding a Ducati again. So right off the bat, I noticed that uh, it's super easy to start, easy to shift, everything's nice and smooth. Again, this one's only got, what, I just hit 62 miles. What's up guys? I'm driving a new R1, no big deal. Hi, driving an R1. How you doing? You know, actually, now that I'm in the right seating position, it kind of feels, uh, it feels a little more comfortable. Like I'm not pressing down, like doing a push-up like I do on my R1. This is definitely not for a new rider, though. If you look at all the controls, there's probably 783 different buttons. <laughs> I'm not gonna mess with the buttons, but uh, there's a lot of stuff you can do on the screen. But it's great, uh, I've done a little research on it. It's got like yaw control, uh, it's got uh, the different uh, tracks controls like mine. I mean, the thing is just fantastic. I gotta be honest, in B-Mode, this thing is super easy to drive. Wow. I'm like really impressed. It's not too powerful. It's not uh, too like uncontrollable. Oh, double, double road track, ah, my balls. You know, when you get up to the higher RPMs, mine is uh, a little more uh, uncontrollable. This one seems to be just spot on. Can I say that? I know I'm not British, but can I say spot on? And again, I can't get over the fact that, you know, you can let the clutch out on my R1, as I'm sure all the other people who have R1s know, it's super hard to, to get started. You have to ease out the clutch a little bit, give it more gas than you would normally do. This one, just like a normal Super Sport. It's pretty awesome. Right, we'll give her a little beans. Beans, again, I think that's a British expression. All right, so there's the power. So once you get up to like the, the 6,500 RPM, that's when you you really start to, to remember that you're on a leader bike. But I'll tell you what, if you're under 6,500 RPMs, you'd, you'd think you're on a 600. There are so many things going on on this screen, I have no idea what's going on. <laughs> Yep, 6,500, that's the sweet spot right there. This thing has wheelie control too, which is, uh, I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. I know for me that would be great because uh, it won't let you wheelie. Oh, that's so cool. It shows you how hard you're pressing on the brake. Does it do it for the rear? No, it doesn't, just the front. Another thing I like about this R1 is that uh, you can adjust uh, the preload and tensioner. You can't really, I mean, you can do it on mine, but I mean, nothing as easy as this, obviously. Everything's labeled for you. That is one thing I do like about this. Everything is labeled on it. Don't you merge into me. I'm watching you. All right. Let's give her a little, let's give her a little bit of gas. Oh my God, she handles so nice. Oh. I mean, I'm not doing anything crazy. It's actually a really bumpy road. There's the R1. <laughs> yep, there's the leader bike power. Wow. I can't believe how easy this thing is to drive. That just blows my mind. Like, you know that you're on something that is just stupid fast, but you, you're not afraid of, um, of driving it normal. It just, um, wow. I, I'm blown away. I'm seriously blown away at how easy it is to drive this thing. This is so much easier than driving my R1. Well guys, that's gonna be it. I know this is kind of a raw, a uh, different video that I've ever done before, and I know it was probably a shitty fucking review, but you know what? I don't care. Thank you so much to Oi Dirk for allowing me to drive his brand new freaking R1. 
Uh, again, this was a little bit of a raw video, but um, go out and uh, and subscribe to Oydirk, and uh, you guys keep doing what you're doing, brothers. I am out.